In this video, we're going to cover the optional Eritrol remote. Some customers have opted to buy an optional remote control. With the Climate Logic by Eritrol connected to the timer, we open it up, we'll hit menu, we'll arrow down by hitting the arrow down button until the arrow is flashing next to remote. Here I'll hit enter. There you see there's a four digit code that I can choose any code I desire to set for my personal code. Keep in mind four zeros is a code in itself. To change the code I simply hit the arrow up or down and hit the next button. I can set the code to anything I'd like. 99 9. Hit save. Now we've set a code in the climate logic. Now hit exit and you're back to the home screen or default screen. Now to show you the remote. Here I'll just turn it off by hitting the power button here, the red button. Push and hold that just for a brief moment. To turn it on, I'll push that once. If I hit setup twice, once, twice, there you see that there's four zeros flashing. To change the code, I can go up or down, and we went 90, 1, Nine, 9 on our climate logic receiver so this code has to match what we put into the climate logic now this button here it says enter I'll hit that and that will save that code now we see there's a zero 01 flashing that zero 01 represents station 1 if I want to water station 1 for 10 minutes I simply hit the enter button. Now station one is coming on and doing a 10 minute duration. I can hit cancel this button here to cancel that. If I want to turn on station two I would arrow up or station three or four whatever station you desire or hit the down button here to go to any station stations are on the left hand side. You could change the duration by arrowing over. You can see the 10 is flashing now. I could increase that time or I could decrease that time. But it's always going to come up at 10 minutes set by default. The duration really isn't something that you'll probably want to change. What you're going to change often is the station. So I'll hit the arrow over again now you see the zero 01 flashing. So it's pretty simple. Turn it off, push the red button for one second, let go, and it went off. So turn it on, push the red button briefly, and it will turn on. To make sure my code is set correctly, I'll hit set up twice. And there we see 9199. So then I would just hit the enter button again, and it's accepted and then we're off and going again with the correct code. Now, let's turn it off a moment. Push that for one second, let it go. Turn it back on briefly. There it is. Station one is flashing. If I hit the setup button once, you'll see that there's 16 flashing. That's because the remote is set to only enable 16 stations. If I have more than 16 stations, I can increase that. Go up to, let's say, 24 because that's the most that the TMC 424 controller is capable of doing. I could hit enter. Now, this remote is programmed to do up to 24 stations. If I hit the power button for one second and let it go, it went off. Push it once and it comes back on. Hit the setup button again once and look, <clears throat> the 24 is still there. So the remote is now programmed to do up to 
24 stations. If I hit the setup button again, there's the code. You can always change the code. Now if I push and hold that power button for too long, it just now erased that code. If I hit setup twice, guess what? <clears throat> I'm back to zeros because I held the power button too long. When you want to shut it off, push it for one second and let it go. It's off. Turn it back on, approach it just briefly, it comes back on. Now I need to reset my 16. I go to 24, hit that again, and I'll have to change my code again. 9199 is what we set the climate logic at. I'll hit enter. It saved it, and now I'm good to go again. Push it for one second, and it will go off. And then turn it back on. Just push it once. We're back on. We're ready to go. To turn on station one again, I just hit enter. Station one's running for 10 minutes. If I want to, I'll hit cancel. Go to station 10, hit enter, and now station 10 is running for 10 minutes. I'll hit cancel. If you leave the remote on, it will automatically turn off after about 4 minutes. If you go to the remote and it's off, just simply push the power button real quickly again and it will come back on. That's all there is to the remote control by Eurotroll.